Hi, it's Jatan here, and, and it's Health Notch time. And this Health Notch is avoiding infl inflammatory foods. So um, this Health Notch is to say what not to do to take your health up a notch. So inflammation is something that our body uses to... Um, Heal us when we're cut and different things like that. So it's a natural occurrence in our body. But when you have too much inflammation in the body, then it causes your body to have different ailments or sicknesses. And they have just um, stated that the facts of the um, medical professions have stated that most diseases come from inflammation. Most diseases, root causes are inflammation in the body. So we're going to just talk about some things that cause inflammation that will cause you to have excessive inflammation that will cause a problem. And we will start with alcohol. You know, excessive drinking of alcohol causes inflammation. Processed meats. Processed meats causes inflammation and processed meats are things like hot dogs and polishes, salami, you know, um, bologna, different things like that. Processed stuff, stuff that's not in its original form when it came from the animals. So they do things to it, add stuff to it. You know, that pink stuff that they found in ground beef. Um, yeah, that. Um, that's also like fatty red meats. The ground beef, beef ribs and stuff like that that has the fat in it, but it's the bad fat um, in the red meat and not to mention that pink stuff that they add to the ground beef. So those things cause inflammation. Margarine is one of the things that cause inflammation um, and it helps to worsen inflammation that you already have. And um, dairy. So dairy is a big one as far as I'm concerned because dairy causes diarrhea, it causes hives, it causes upset stomachs, causes bloating, it causes gas, constipation, all of these different things. And people that have, you know, like asthma, different things with breathing problems, dairy causes inflammation, which call in it um exacerbate um breathing issues. So you don't want to have dairy or you want to watch your dairy so and watch for those different things that might pop up and try eliminating dairy. White bread. White bread is among the worst um, that come foods that we consume because we have sandwiches it's made on white bread. And like you get wheat that's made on dyed white bread. But anyway, I won't I won't even go into that. Like some wheat breads are just regular white bread that they put some color in and made it brown and sold it to you as wheat bread because all bread comes from wheat, but the wheat's been stripped of its nutrients. And so that's refined carbs is another thing. Refined carbs are the things that were carbs like um, the white bread, the white rice and different things like that. But they stripped all the goodness out of it. I'm not understanding why but they did and I'm sure and anyway it always goes back to money but they stripped all the nutrients out of it and then they sell it to you uh, for a smaller price and here we are with inflammation trans fats foods that are um, with hydrate hydrogenated and partially hydrogenated oils um, those things inflame you and so these are things that causes your inflammation to rise. Refined um, sugar, processed sugar um, causes body pain and aches in your body. It causes your body to um, stop with developing. It slows down the development of white blood cells. So it causes, say if you're sick, it causes your body to slow down on the healing process. So sugar causes inflammation. So these are some of the things that causes inflammation that you could help yourself by eliminating them out your diet or 
not doing them every day. So decreasing, if you eat bread, don't eat it every day. Don't eat it every other day. Can you go once a week with bread? Can you go once a week with a dairy product, margarine? I mean, we need to find out these things are linked to um, killing us, diseases and different things that causes us not to do well when we're thinking we're doing okay by just eating stuff that we made at home and the stuff that we made at home is killing us. Anyway, take your health up by a notch by decreasing the inflammatory foods that you are consuming. Good luck with that. You can do it. <laughs> I believe in you.